guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Britney Spears' newest fragrance, Prerogative. This fragrance came out this year. 2018 is Britney's 24th fragrance, and her first unisex fragrance. So on the front of the box, it looks like this. Um, in the bright pink center, we've got the circle that says Prerogative, Britney Spears, Eau de Parfum Spray, 3.3 ounce. And it's kind of got these matte black corners that carry over to the sides of the box. This one's completely blank, while this one does say a fragrance for all, um, and then up on top it says Britney Spears. The only thing that's different is it doesn't have an ad on the box this time, like her previous fragrances have, like the last few that we've gotten have, but it's not a big deal. Oh well, it's just a box. The bottle looks like this this time, and it says prerogative straight on the front, just like it does on the um, box. But it's got that fantasy, like, silhouette d design that we've always seen, but this time they decided to, like, amp it up and make it modern and make it fresh so what they did was they actually kind of kicked it off to the side kind of gave the bottle a little bit of sass and make it look like it's leaning off to one side um and then they gave it some really hard lines so they the fronts are completely flat and then they does some have some hard lines on either side with a pretty flat base versus like fantasy which had like a significant base this one's just kind of got like a there you go see so in this one, so the top notes of this fragrance are um, pink pepper, red goji berries, and um, apricot nectar. Middle notes are latex petals, red calla lilies, and espresso foam. With base notes of sandalwood, amber wood, and or sam sandalwood, amber, and saffron cream. So, like I said, this is Britney's first unisex fragrance. Let me grab a tester strip really quick. we built yet anyway so it's her first unisex fragrance but it still is on the feminine edge and it definitely is a little bit more like i said feminine um it has that gourmand like edge twist to it which i definitely feel like makes it more feminine but at the same time it almost has like a little bit of private show dna in it kind of like how private show had fantasy dna in it so when you first spray it you get kind of the red goji berries you get a little bit of like the pink pepper, kind of giving a little bit of a masculineness. And you get some of a little, you kind of start getting a little bit of that, like the, the middle notes coming in. But it, when you first spray it, definitely getting the goji berries, definitely getting a little bit of the spiciness from the pink pepper, and definitely getting the warm, like sweetness of the apricots. Like you definitely can smell the apricot nectar. It's nice, like that freshness is very, very like bright in the opening. As it starts to kind of like dry down a little bit and you get into the heart, the heart is where this fragrance really shows its feathers in my opinion, because you've got red cow lily, and then you've also got latex petals, and then you've also got um, espresso foam. So the espresso foam gives it its private show DNA. Um, it makes it kind of like soft and sweet, but What's different is these latex petals. Now, when I saw that this fragrance was going to have latex petals in it, I was like, what are latex petals? I've never heard of that. And, oh my god, guys, you can literally... It smells like what you would envision a fake flower, like a fake uh, plant would smell. Like, if a fake plant gave off a smell, this is what it would smell like, in my opinion, with these, like, the latex petals. You can definitely smell them in there, and it's not offensive. It's actually super alluring and super sexy in kind of, like, a different way. I've never really smelled this note in a fragrance before, and I really like it in this. The, the cow lily kind of adds a little bit of a floralness to it, but, like I said, this fragrance is unisex, but definitely more on the male side or the female side than it is on the male side sorry my dogs are barking anyway um as it starts to dry down more though that the saffron cream and the amber in the bottom of this fragrance really give it kind of like a warm heavy base and it is very sexy it is very dark it is very sassy which is why i like how the fragrance is kind of kicked off to the side because it does have that like sassiness that the fragrance has. So I know you can like pre-order or order, I don't even know where it is, but I know on Amazon you can pre-order, order, do something. Go to Amazon.com, search Britney Spears Prerogative, you can do something. I don't know if it's changed from pre-order, at one time it was a pre-order, ignore my rambling. Go to Amazon. You can also go Kohl's has 1.7 and a 1 ounce of this. Um, 
Walmart has the one ounce and the fragrance mist, which is cool because you don't normally get the fragrance mist at launch. Um, this fragrance is very edgy and dark but does have a masculine edge to it and I definitely think that's really nice because Britney's fans have been asking for a very long time to get a male fragrance and I think this is kind of Britney's first step in that direction and I definitely would like to see her release like a full male fragrance or release like a male female comparison fragrance like ones that come come like complement each other I think that would be really cool um definitely think this fragrance is more for nighttime more going out it definitely is a confidence booster and I've been wearing it for a while, and it is very sweet, and it is very warm, but it is very gourmand. So if you're not someone who likes a gourmand fragrance, you're not really into, like, the sweeter fragrances, this is definitely on the sweeter side, and is on the more warmer, sweeter side. Um, definitely think this is more of, like, a fall, winter fragrance if you're gonna wear it during the day. Otherwise, like I said, probably a nighttime fragrance. So... There you guys go. There is my review of Britney Spears' prerogative. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, it's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. Sorry that the air conditioner just kicked on again. Also, sorry if this video was, like, a little off. I'm kind of dealing with this stupid summer cold, and I'm, like, all over the place. But I promise, there's more videos coming. I have lots coming. I'm super excited about some stuff. Some stuff's are secrets. You guys will have to stay around. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.